What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, it was against a clan, a, a member of the DWA, the Regulators. Uh, kind of a good matchup actually. This was supposed to be though our um, arranged matchup versus Immoral Thieves. Uh, part of a sort of weekend we did with Invicta in 2.0 and Immoral Thieves in Back Road. Um, fortunately we missed that one but ended up nailing the Regulators. Anyways, hopping on over. Victory, solid victory for 2.0, 79 to 75. Uh, good job overall, though, by regulators. Really got a couple, a few nice three stars in there in the top 10. Very, uh, obviously, we're getting very Town Hall 10 heavy now. Uh, pretty much cleared everything except for these bottom few bases. They kind of struggled down low. Um, other than that, nothing too crazy in there. A couple triples. Um, yeah, that's Town Hall 9. But uh, cleaned up all the way down. So good job, 2.0. Uh, nice war regulators. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's just check these guys out. DWA member, 100% fair play. YouTube, check them out on uh, at regulators. <clears throat> Get these guys some views. Uh, we are just going to jump right in now, though, and check out Nammer hitting number 29. A lot of six packs here. I'm pretty sure Nammer's had a six pack. I like this attack a lot. Seven healers. <clears throat> um Obviously, very town, a brand new town hall line. We'll say other than you know, it's just, this guy's been working on the queen and wall aspect. Obviously, no defenses, even like that air defense. But Namers goes in, just charges this level 30 queen right in here. Uses four of the seven healers. Mm -mm. Recap juice. This takes a minute while she bashes through this town hall. The goal here is to take out this defensive queen. Uh, end up getting the CC troops pulled out, I believe. <clears throat> and just get a good, good entry into this base. And slow that down now. Poison took care of that queen. Rage, now spell is now faded. Wall is now open. Queen's going to end up walking right in here, yanking out the CC troops, finishing off a bunch of these defenses. Now, keep in mind, still has these three other healers. Uh, here comes this hog. going to pull out that CC to the queen. In one second. Here it comes. It's a couple Valks, a baby dragon, and a wizard. That's going to be a very popular comp for the next little while. It is very deadly, though, guys. Like, watch how quickly this happens. Has to hit the ability there. Pretty much almost is a must that you either need to have a very early rage down so the healers are in full effect and healing the queen under rage by, before the tr CC troops get there, before those Valkyries get there. Um, or you're going to have to hit that ability. Poison does not slow that down enough for your queen to just rock through that. So you need one or the other. Uh, anyhow, you can see this Valkyries just went in. Nice rage spell. Just pushed everything right into this Tesla farm. Hog's now reinforcing from the 10 to 11 o'clock positions. Queen is still in there doing her, doing her dirty work, taking care of all these town hall defenses like a boss. Heroes are just getting big, big value. And Hogs are going to finish off these last few defenses here. In no time, we've got a bunch of Valks doing cleanup on the outside. It's definitely a treat in the bag. Seven healers. <laughs> Just rocks them across. Recognizing, you know, having the healers with the, uh, locked on to the kill squad there is just going to get big value. Oops. Job, Namers. Uh, 28. Chad Falla. <clears throat> I, I thought this was a really interesting base. It's kind of why I wanted to show this attack. Um, I do like the little Wiz Tower farm here. That's something uh, you, you want to try and incorporate into your base. You just can't leave it as crippled. Um, it's the same thing with the Tesla farm, right? It's good to have a Tesla farm, but that that doesn't mean you you should have weak parts of your base because it can be very easy to do that. Just like anything with base building, you know, you, you make one thing strong, it generally makes something else weaker. <clears throat> so just keep an eye out for that. But Kill Squad going right in at this Wizard Tower farm where all the Teslas are. So you look at this part, like huge value. There's no trash buildings in there. There's four Wizard Towers and three Teslas. So uh, just sends a couple Golems in, handful of Wizards. Queen's going to take care of that stuff. Now, the, the stray CC Golem here um, kind of just slows things down for a moment, but no big deal. These Wizards are really helping this Queen just smash through this Golem. It's about to explode. Take one Wizard, I think, with it. Not even, but these many ones, I think, do. Yep, see you later, but no big deal. CC troops are taken care of. Big chunk of this base is down. <clears throat> Still has 10 Wizards going to feed in. So this, this is a very, like, Avalanche-style attack. Um... But just, a, a, to me, just a different version, right? Just getting big, big value out of that kill squad. Now dropping this other golem, more wizards. Here comes a P.E.K.K.A. 
this was a very interesting choice, I thought. Um, I mean, nothing <laughs> nothing too crazy. It's a P.E.K.K.A. I think a CC full of Miners or um, uh, sorry, Valkyries might have even been a better choice here because they're going to get more spread. Um, although the, the P.E.K.K.A. does walk at the same rate as the Golem. So I believe that is the theory behind it. So the P.E.K.K.A. is going to come back here and take care of this stuff, but um, does get pretty decent value out of it. <laughs> Anyhow, the last Golem's now in with the King in finally behind and the uh, not the rest of his Wizards, but pretty much all of them. Just going to finish off this last kind of section of base. There goes that Jump Spell. Letting things into that expo. Super slow attack. <laughs> Just crazy. I uh, did lose his queen. Um, where is it? This queen is dead, I'm pretty sure. Um, where the heck is this queen? Hmm. Am I blind? I think I'm blind. There's, oh, no, they're both right there. I was just, I, I didn't see that one. It was like camouflaged. Um, quite often that happens with this attack uh you do lose your queen especially if she goes in right away with your kill squad uh she'll start straying and end up getting taken out but it doesn't matter you just just use the golems as tanks feed them around that dead zone using the jump spells just reinforcing with wizards i mean even a pekka might even be a good choice but um personally i think i would go with valks or miners they're my uh they're my cc troop of choice at the moment um obviously base dependent but that's what I lean towards. Good old Caddick going in here. I believe Cad's just going to charge right into this base. Um, I wanted to show this base because I don't know. I don't know exactly. I never really heard of the regulars before, but they had so many of these weird 0.5 style bases. Um, maybe not so many, but I definitely saw at least a few that I was like, huh? Like, look at this base. All Town Hall 8 defenses, more or less. Um, but a level 17 Grand Warden, so I think level 17 or level 12, whatever. Um, so very, very strange base, but Cad just goes to town here, right? Gets the expo. Oh, yeah, he's just going to walk around. Uh, the uh, reason I thought charge, I knew, remember, he stepped up into this nook, and the uh, the CC troops just get yanked right out to him. Minions are toast. Dragon's about to get worked on, right? This guy does have a Town Hall 10 uh, CC, right? Um, has had, I think, five minions in the balloon and a dragon in there. <laughs> Any, anyhow, that section of the raid is complete. So it goes ahead, sends in the golem. Nice, easy wall break with that level 8 whiz tower. Has the cold-blooded golem in there. Start sending in some Valkyries. Here they come. CC everything. Funnel's been created. They're going to get sucked right into this chamber. Jump spell going down. Going to let everything in. Force it right towards this queen chamber. Has one more jump and a heal spell he's going to drop. Look how much of the base is already dead. Like 50% of the base and his Valkyries are just getting going now. So here they go. In they lock onto the queen, down the defensive queen goes, bunch of skeleton traps, going to get big value under that heal there. Hogs now is starting to reinforce from little sections of the base. Still has nine hogs to deploy, but being very, very patient here, it's going to use them for this sort of final compartment, um, but wants to make sure the Valkyries and some stuff gets over there before he deploys. And here they come, two, two, and two, and then one more from the backside. Just going to get big value, nice poison spell right down on those skellies, slows them right down. Really, there's an air defense to go, and this base is GG. This weird sort of 8.9, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> or yeah, I don't even know what the hell you'd call that. 9.9 <laughs> nine maybe, I don't know. But it didn't even have time, have time all nine defenses. So, job, buddy. Man from Amsterdam. Damn, right, 22? No, we showed 22, didn't we? Why on crack? No, we just showed 21. That's right. So we're going to 18. War Bull. Bringing a very, very sexy uh, attack here. Mm. Kind of a cool base design in a sense. Um, I'm not a fan. Look at that. That's, that's what I'm not a fan of. Having walls in places where you can literally just drop a wall breaker and it explodes immediately, I don't think is a good thing for your base at all ever um especially because this one leads you right into money town like you look at, at the value like this this little compartment that was so easily opened uh, by three instant wall breakers don't have to worry about traps nothing lets you into all of this pull the cc get the defensive queen get an expo out of the deal like just get a ton of value here so um ooh, I'm on times two sorry uh but as you see the kill squad goes in from the other side double jumps right valk's just going to move right on into this base 
Finally take down that expo. Hawks now free and forced through that queen chamber once that defensive queen gets taken care of. Just insane value. So um, to me, just the base section itself off, especially with this sort of neutral uh, zone in the core, um, like was just too easy, right? Valks, two compartments they really need to take care of. Queen gets all of this. And hogs can just go in from basically, you know, three o'clock to one o'clock and just get big, big value. There's nothing to suck those hogs in through the course. They're going to just meet up at 12 o'clock with the Valks just like that. Has a few in the bag to send in that six o'clock compartment. And it is GG. <laughs> Tree in the bag for the chocolate man. Beautiful. All right, I got one more. I'm going to rock out here. What was this? Oh, McGravy. All right, so bringing the air attack here. I really like this. Um, nice little baby drag down, getting that funnel going. I'm really big fan of these baby drags on the outsides for funneling. They can get pretty big value, especially if um, you know they can tank an archer tower by itself for quite a long time. Like they can take down an entire gold storage at Town Hall 9 max, I believe, getting hit by an archer tower the whole time and kill the gold storage before it dies. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to test that again, but I'm 99% confident that that is true has to double raise there keep that queen going but always always a good thing right poison spell is going to go down slow that defensive queen rate down walk rate in lock onto that queen down it goes and poison spell is going down taking care of the dragon balloons here so another very 0.5 base guys also forgot to point out at the beginning of this one right this is like a um this is a pure uh 9.5 uh we'll say right no inferno towers but definitely upgrades um at least to some archer towers uh, the CC clan castle, obviously, right, had uh, max capacity for Town Hall 10. Anyhow, everything's looking good. Hounds are now moving in. Oh, right over top that first air defense. Remember, the queen got both air defense, the CC troops, and that defensive queen. Huge value right out of that queen. So, beautiful job so far. Still has not dropped his king as well. Finally, this king goes down. He's going to do a little bit of tank in here. Max Hound goes in. Going to get right in on top of that uh, last remaining air defense. Boom, eating black mines to the face. The Max Hound hasn't even been touched. <clears throat> As balloons just par targeted all around, all these little sections on the base, just boom, 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 down they go. Great placement on those balloons. And that Rage has a ton of cleanup troops remaining. And there are no defenses left on this base. McGravy just kills it with this air attack. I loved it. Tree in the bag. All right, so thanks for the war regulators. Um, good fun fair war, definitely uh, some good adversity. You guys got some nice uh, triples up top there and uh, definitely did your diligence overall. Just had a little bit of struggles on the nines down there um, and that's gonna happen from time to time. So uh, hats off to a good war and 2.0, love you guys. Uh, I think that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser to trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out. <laughs>